Now there's an issue of China. And China's issue is being raised all over Africa. We are being told that China is developing a new colonial arrangement with us. Who is spearheading the anti-Chinese hysteria? Who? CNN? Voice of America? The British Broadcasting Corporation? The politicians in, in, in Western Europe? And so on. Have they ever looked at our interests? Have they ever been interested in liberating us from neocolonialism? They are the neocolonialists. They are the people who caught our people as slaves to work as beasts of burden. They are the people who entrench classical colonialism. They are our problem today. And today, our problem stands in front of us and says, don't look at us, look at the other side. It's the Chinese. The Chinese are the neocolonialists. It's nothing but hysteria. The Chinese did not enslave us. They did not impose colonialism on us. The Chinese are offering us an alternative. Think about the world without China. We will all be lining up before the IMF and the World Bank. And the IMF and the World Bank will be given at the same prescriptions. In Ghana in 1983, 300,000 workers lost their jobs as a result of IMF and World Bank deposition. And do that so that you can take a loan from us. And so the Chinese are not saying that. The Chinese are not coming to Africa and saying, dismiss your workers. The Chinese are not coming to Africa and saying, withdraw subsidies on agriculture. The Chinese are not coming to Africa and saying, healthcare is too expensive. Don't spend on healthcare. So we cannot put China and the United States of America on the same level. We cannot. China is different from the Western countries. China is different from the capitalist countries, at least from the point of view of our history. They didn't colonize us. They didn't institute apartheid. They didn't support apartheid. That's a difference that we need to recognize.